Gaurav, uh, these videos, these pictures that we put out for our viewers just speaking volumes of how things moved from the last seven years to now and how perhaps Atik Ahmed saw an heir in his son really when it came to just building this empire of gangsters and growing confident that perhaps nothing had happened to him for so many years in spite of hundreds of cases and nothing will happen moving further as well, isn't it? So Sneha, there is a saying in Hindi, Boya ped babool ka, to aam kaha se hoye. And that's exactly what Atik Ahmed did. Shaista Parveen actually, according to the Uttar Pradesh police, told her husband that Asad is only 19, he's completed class 12th, he wants to go overseas and study law, he does not have a passport, use your clout, get him a passport, let him go abroad. Atik Ahmed is learned to have told Shaista Parveen, again, our information is based on what Uttar Pradesh police sources are telling mm -hmm. us and what is written in the remand note and what is coming out of, of Naini jail. Atik Ahmed is learned to have told her, Ye mera beta hai, ye sher hai, aur ye raj karega. So he actually pushed his son. When you look at these images on your television screen, he is also learned to have, you know, conceded when he broke down in court. He said, I have sent my son to his death. That's exactly what he did. When you look at these images right now on our television screen, these are people who are there at the Supurde Khak uh, process that's being carried out, which means this is where Asad, 19-year-old Asad has now been buried. He wanted to be a lawyer. Incidentally, there are reports uh, that Asad actually wanted to get married to, uh, to, uh, to a relative. To Aisha Nuri's, uh, you know, uh, to uh, to uh, to somebody in the in the extended family, and uh, Shaista Parveen was very keen that that marriage takes place very quickly, but Asad wanted to establish himself as a mafia don himself, the heir apparent of this mm. mafia empire. He lived by the gun, and he died by it. That's right. To tell our viewers that the burial process is now over, and these pictures on your screen. Our live from Prayagraj, that's the burial ground. Abhishek Mishra is also getting us the very latest. This is from the graveyard in Prayagraj. Abhishek, uh, if you could just get us up to speed with the current uh, developments from Ground Zero also. Uh, a quick update, if at all, you have on the two women who tried to enter the burial ground. Well, certainly, Sneha, uh, the process of, uh, you know, bringing up Asad is over now and you can see in the visuals will show you that people are coming uh, out of uh, this uh, uh, burial ground now. Uh, the procedure is over. He has already been buried under uh, 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 the soil and at the same time, yes, two women tried to come inside the premises but they were not allowed. Uh, there is no confirmation. Uh, we have spoken to the ACP crime but he is not confirming. He has said that uh, uh, not uh, no confirmation on that but you can see how the, uh, these people who were part of the burial process who are now coming out, they have confirmed that Asad body has already been buried under the soil and it is very clear now that there is no chance that either Atik Ahmad or Shaista, mother and the father, will now be able to uh, see Hey, uh, their son for the very last time. It's not possible now. Uh, there is a heavy security deployment. You have just seen how uh, heavy security is there. Now, what has been said earlier that Asad's body will be brought to Chakya area, the residence of Atik Ahmad. There were several people, you know, hundreds of people who were gathered there, but the police took the action. They decided that they would not allow uh, the body to uh, reach there. And that is the only reason, looking into the uh, situation, uh, the body was directly brought here uh, for the the process uh, it took around approximately 35 to 40 minutes uh, and immediately when his body was brought here uh, the people who were already here approximately 35 in the number they immediately start the procedure there was a last namaz which was also also took place here and now Asad has been buried under the soil and pictures which you can again see I would like to show you that the people who were part of this process one by one are coming out Heavy security force area along with police personnel and indeed a finish of an era of uh, Atik Ahmed where Atik tried to give his legacy, you know, this mafia legacy to Assad.
by this, uh, you know, incident of uh, Omesh Pal murder. He conspired it along with Ashraf, took, gave the charge to, uh, to Assad uh, for this whole incident. But the outcome, the result is this, that he was shot down by, uh, by the UPSTF day before yesterday and today has been buried here at the Kasai Masai uh, burial ground here in Priyagraj. A lot of sentiments have come because people in Priyagraj have uh, taken a relief also of the fact because there has been a lot of terror of uh, uh, Atik Ahmed, but with CM Adityanath, you know, making it very clear at the Vidhan Sabha during the budget session that Nobody would be spared, any mafia, they will be buried under the soil and something practically has happened when Assad's body was, uh, you know, cremated here, buried under the soil and Atik Ahmed yesterday when was brought out uh, for about two hours, he was taken into the other police station, we were fetching him, we tried to speak to him, he didn't say anything, his face uh, expressions were telling that uh, he had no, nothing to say. Uh, only Ashraf said one thing that Allah ki cheez thi, Allah tak pahunch gai. That means it shows that they had no more attachment with Assad. Although there was an application which had been moved in the CGM regarding his participation in this burial process. But nothing of that sort now because the process is already over. Atik was not allowed. Even Shaisa didn't turn up today. So this gave us a clear indication that with uh, the commission and with this last right of uh, Assad, now the era of Atik Ahmed is over and now the STF and the UPATS is already interrogating him at the Dhumalganj police station in Priyagraj will take further leads and all these connections which are coming that will take his course but as far as Assad is concerned his body is finally buried under the soil in Priyagraj. Yes. This chapter clearly Gaurav is over as far as Assad's short-lived uh, life uh, well just 12 in fact just seven years ago he was he started off pretty much holding that revolver, firing shots in the air in the last seven years or so. Get us an idea about how he wanted to take over his father's empire, so to speak.